Katharina von Bora Luther lived from 1499 to 1552. She is best known as the ex-nun who married Martin Luther. Katie Luther was a woman of the Middle Ages, in one respect ordinary, at the same time exceptional. For a woman of the Middle Ages to be remembered at all is significant. She would need to be a royal celebrity or an influential writer who left a written testimony, or an exceptional person spiritually, a religious leader with exemplary faith, a saint. Katie wasn't any of these. Most people know Katie as the ex-nun who married Luther, and we know that she was a noble of noble birth. She was born 29th of January um, in 1499 to a family that used to be wealthy in Lippendorf, but family who had lost their wealth. And that might be one reason why Katharina was sent to a monastery at a very young age. The family was very poor because normally uh, people were expected uh, to uh, bring a gift along when entering a monastery. Uh, and uh, her father paid only 30 Gaussian, which is a very, very measly sum uh, compared to what's normal. It's interesting that Katie was sent to the convent right after her mother died and her father remarried Margarita von Ende. And it sounds like an evil stepmother came and that's why the little girl was sent away, but that is not necessarily the case, but we don't know. But we do know that she went to a convent in Nimschen. The monastery in Nimschen was a large one, quite rich, and it seems that uh, quite a lot of uh, what housekeeping meant in the early 16th century, Kathy has learned there. When she was sent to the convent, she was five years old. When she was sent to another convent, she was 10 years old. And at that point, it seemed that her destiny was sealed. Her family had no money for a dowry, which was needed to marry her well. Her family didn't want her back, which must have broken her heart. I mean, why, why didn't they want her back? While Katie was at the convent, Augustinian monk and theologian Martin Luther began questioning the church's practice of selling indulgences. 